Hello everyone, welcome back to another chat GPT-4 tutorial. In this one, we're in we're going to be using the just released visual upload or the image upload or visual analysis image analysis tool that has just been released. I'm going to show you how to use it. Then I'm going to give you an example like this one here where I've got this generic stock. That's quite nice, but it's like a splash page for our website. And I've basically asked ChatGPT to turn that nice little image into code. So we're doing image to code here. And then presto, as you'll see here, as I scroll through, it's done it. It's gone ahead and churned out some pretty good code. Uh, code, pardon me. That said, if you are a web developer or like a HTML, CSS, JavaScript type, you don't have to worry yet. It's not perfect code. You got to go through it. But it's done a nice job and it helps you get to the point and it helps you speed up. So it's not going to replace your job, but it's definitely going to help you make you more efficient and solve some of the uh, questions that you have as you go through it. I know I'm always looking things up as I code and do that. So there you go. And then you'll see here it keep going through it. It's done a little more and so on and so forth. So let's just go ahead and get cracking. So I'm just going to go to the top left here, click on new chat. And here you go. The first thing you need to know is that if you are on like, for example, browse with Bing, or you're on any of these other uh, options other than the default one, you're not going to be able to do this and at least in its current state. So watch this when I go from browse with Bing or one of these other ones to default here at the bottom left, you'll see this little tiny icon has just popped up that says attach images. This is where we can go ahead and start making some uh, image uploads. So here we go. I'm going to click on this tiny icon. Come on, open AI. You got to fix this. But uh, here we go. I'm going to click on it. And now I'm going to upload my image. In this case, I'm going to use this uh, splash page here. And then I'm just going to click on open. Now, before I hit enter, Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab some stuff here first. So let's grab the first prompt. I've actually written it out. So I believe it is right here. So you, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this in so we make it quicker. And I'll show you how to do that one more time. Here you go. Click on attach images. I'm going to add in that image. And then in send a message or where the prompt is uh, blinking, type this in. You are an expert UI UX designer and software developer. Recreate this UI with complete details. Do not skip anything. Write all the code in one file. I'm doing that because it just makes it easier, but you may want to separate it out if there's lots of complex code. But here we go. Make sure you get the layout correctly. Use images from Unsplash and Pexels for the images. So this is just using free stuff on the internet that you can, of course, always replace with your own images. And then I say, please take this step by step. I'm going to hit enter and watch this. I've uploaded the image. And now it's I've, it's gone ahead and read out all of that stuff that I've gone into. And now here we go, creating a complex, uh, creating a complete replica of the provided UI will be a long process. That's fine. I got lots of time. I'll provide a simplified version using placeholders for the actual data and using HTML for structure, CSS for styling, and JavaScript for any potential interactive elements. That is bang on. Here we go. So here it is. It's cooking it up. And as it goes through it here, I'm going to come back when it's done because it's going to take a few seconds, show you what we got. And then I'll show you how we can use ChatGPT and the visual uploader here or the visual image analysis to check out our content or check out our work and then maybe give us some feedback and critique. So here we go. I'll come back when it's done. All right. So welcome back. So here we go. And it actually did an amazing job. It broke it up into three steps. The first one is set up the HTML structure. So as I go through this here, you'll see here it's got the doc type and all that good stuff. And of course, you can just click on this button here, copy code and bang, it is copied and you can go ahead and paste that into whatever you want to use. If you're using open open pen or whatever it is, or it doesn't matter. You can just copy and paste that in. The second step here is it's added basic CSS styling. So it's created sort of like a set of styles here. So you see body font header, blah, blah, blah. It's all in there. And then JavaScript, because we haven't steady, we haven't really said, hey, we need a on click or any of those things. It doesn't render it out, but if you needed it and if you had questions, you can always ask it. So it, this is literally all there is to it. Now, if you want to go, I'm going to go back to that previous chat and watch this here. I can also ask it this. So if I go, if I go and start a new chat here, here's another option that I want to show you. I'm going to command V or control V this one in here. So it says you are a world-class web developer and designer with 20 years experience. Please critique my design and provide me with feedback on how I might improve it. This is another option that you might want to consider. So I'm going to click on the attach images. I'm going to click on the same image and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead right here and I'm just going to hit enter. 
bang, off we go. So it's going to look at this and now it's gonna give us feedback on it. I'm gonna cook this up when it's done. I'll show you what it says and then we'll wrap it up. All right, welcome back. So we've gone ahead and asked it to give a critique and some feedback and take a look at this. It's broken it down to typography and branding. It says maybe consider checking the kerning between letters. Now this might be boilerplate or you know, best practice answers, not very specific to the image you've uploaded, but it's still good. And uh, let's keep a look through here a little bit more. We've got imagery, the backdrop of the image of the man overlooking the city, communicates ambition, vision, and control, which aligns with the tagline, start your media. And like, I mean, that is extremely specific feedback and criticism. That is amazing. Um, it gives you some more ideas. Some of the images on the news portal thumbnails are vibrant and captivating. Okay, so it likes that. Composition and layout here. You go through it, color palette, user interface, elements. I mean, it goes on and on, but literally, these two prompts that I use to show you are in the description at the top there, right under the subscribe button. But here you go, I mean, this is it. This is how you take images, turn them into code, turn them into websites, get feedback on it, all in ChatGPT with the new image up, um, update. Thanks for watching.